In front of you here you have a standard Sony made Apple high density floppy drive. Sony just called it the two megabyte drive, three and a half inch, and Apple called it the super drive. Technically the model number is MFD75W-010 G. Sorry there, having a little hard time seeing that. Now this drive, I'm going to show you how to disassemble it so that it can be cleaned and then re-lubricated. The first thing you will want to do is to remove the 20 pin floppy connector and then take a small screwdriver. These are standard Phillips screws. You might have to press down a little bit because this has probably never been done before. It might be a little stiff. You want to use a good quality screwdriver. Nothing from Harbor Freight because those are garbage. This is a Craftsman. Made in America. Although, not anymore. And then after you get that, the drive just slides out. Sometimes there'll be a little plastic drive sleeve on here. Sometimes not. I think it... I don't know when they started that, but I've seen that on 2s and 2FXs and such. As you can see, uh, although a little out of focus, it is quite dirty. Yuck. So, you take your canned air and blast it. And that's going to get some of your dust, but not all of it. So you need to take other methods to get the other dirt and crap out of the drive. Such as, oh, the stuff in the front. And Apple drives are notorious for being very dirty. Um, it's because they didn't have a flap to cover the drive front. Like uh, most of the ones used on... PC compatibles did. It's also the same thing with the uh, drives on the next stations. They also didn't have a front dust shield. Also a little well-placed breath. Okay, that's pretty clean inside. I do see some Pretty scungy grease. So we're going to take a Q-tip. And this one's already got a little dirt on, but it's not going to matter because we're just doing grease. And some isopropyl alcohol. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. So it will dissolve grease quite well. And what you need to do is you need to get in here where the stepper where the worm gear is connect to the stepper motor and you just go around and get that also there may be some petrified grease on some of these slides you don't want to get in there as well because this grease is 30 years old. It was a lubricant 30 years ago. Now it's a dust attractant and glue. And you'll have to get in, yeah, there's a little bit there. And then, yeah, that's nasty. And we're gonna go in with the clean end. A little more alcohol and then we will now go in the sides where it's a little 
harder to reach. Just to clean the area where the floppy disk sits. We just have to look and be careful and go slowly. And uh, we get a good bit of junk. Fairly clean. But also now without any lubrication. So we need to re-lubricate. What I like to use, and this is, is this, which is Zoom Spout Oil, a Zoom Spout Oiler, but what is in here is nice uh, turbine oil. So it's very good, it's great for general use for stuff like this. You don't need a lot, you just need a little. And the Zoom Spout does help to get into hard to reach places, but here it's not 100% necessary. So just a drop or two on the worm gear. A drop on the slides. And the pivot points. And there's also a gear here for the eject mechanism that you want to add just a drop to. And you want to turn and make sure everything moves smoothly. And I don't have a floppy disk here, or else I'd insert, I don't have one handy. Um, but it looks like, yeah, there's a little bit of extra grease there. And I'm going to grab a paper towel here. So you don't want too much, you just want just enough. Because too much can cause issues too. And never, ever use WD-40 on something like this. WD-40 is not a lubricant. And all it will do in something like this is attract dust. Please do not use WD-40. All right, I'm gonna go get another Q-tip and I'll show you how to clean the heads. All right, I got my Q-tip here. Now, I have fancy video head cleaning q-tips or chamois tip swabs you don't need that for this this is not a video head this is pretty much just like any standard audio head so there's nothing no tips to stick out nothing to worry about so you just take your q-tip put on your oh a little bit of your ipa Gently lift. The second head. You know, make sure you clean both of them. And you'll feel when it's squeaky clean. Sometimes they're really dirty. Sometimes they're not. There's not a whole lot on. There's a couple specks. And then after you do that, then you just reassemble the thing. And to do that, you just slide the drive back in the cage. And you line up. holes and you don't tighten them all the way down you get them close <laughs> and you also don't drop them into the mechanism but it's good to do it all right there that's lined up now again you don't tighten them down all the way because you might have to move them slightly
And I'll drop the screwdriver, but that happens. Don't you get all four in? And you can tighten them down. And then mount it in its collar. So let me see how this works on this one. <laughs> oh, I forget how, to, how this works. Right. Oh, right, right, right. Give me a second, and then. And that is how you clean and remount a Apple Sony two meg floppy drive. And this case is mounted for being used in a Mac SE and on top is where the hard drive goes.